everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Sorry about my voice. You know, with all the smoky air and everything that's been going on. And um, over the weekend, we had our uh, family reunion and we were outside a lot. So my throat is a little irritated. So anyway, today is Magical Mask Monday. Oracle card reading for the week of June 12th, and it's Monday, of course, Magical Mask Monday. All right, so we're going to try out a new face mask that I got. It's by Marie, and it says Marine Collagen Facial Masks, Dermatological Dermatologist recommended hyaluronic acid and pearl extract. Professional treatment, wrinkles, dry skin, and photo aging. There's six masks in there, three different ones. And it says anti aging effect made with natural ingredients for all skin types, hyperallergenic. It's a 20 minute mask, and it's a regular, a regular sheet mask. It says it has pearl extract, five algae extracts, ethically sourced, and an American brand, and it is um, vegan and cruelty free. So, they come like that, and there's, maybe there's six different ones, I don't know. Oh, maybe. Alright, so. They all say the same thing on the back, except for in this little circle here. One says mask type violet gold, mask type marine lilac, mask type sapphire gold, mask type blue pearl. Coral gold and coral pink. I think we're going to go with, since I have this blue shirt on, we're going to go with blue pearl. So I figured I'd try them out for this month. See if they make a difference. That's what I've been trying to do. Stick with the same brand of face mask. And, uh, Go from there. So I'm just tearing it open. That's what it looks like. And there you go. Never used these before. It smells okay. Oh, alrighty then. It's glittery. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh, it's going to be one of these where I struggle. To get it open. I don't want to pull it because I don't want to rip it. Which I think I might have already done. There we go. I'm going to assume that this sparkly side goes out. When I read the back, it doesn't say anything about that. Yeah, I'm going to assume that. Ooh, that's cold. 
All right, so it does smell okay. All right, what the hell is going on here? So far. Kind of cute. So you see horses, dolphins, whales. The one thing I did read, it says don't get it in your eyes, which is a little concerning, but whatever. I think they all, they all might say that. I just never noticed before. The side of it's a little weird. Like it's split. Maybe that's because, you know, to pull it. Okay. Alright. I'm going to need a... I'm going to put all the... Extra juice down on my neck. Paper towel. Alright. Let me make sure my hands are clean. We're going to do things a little tiny bit different. We're going to pull the moon cards the way they're, you know, intended. We're going to shuffle them and pull them. And read the meaning. So we're going to do the moon card first. And this is from the deck Moonology. And they are oracle cards. It's by Yasmin Boland. So here they are. This is what the back of them looks like. And I am going to... Shuffle them. We're in a um, waning crescent moon phase. And we've already done that last month because, you know, we're kind of following in sync. So we want to give some of the other cards a chance, and in the book, that's how you can either do the actual moon phase, or you pull a card and read that, you know, any time of the month. So let's ask our spirit guides to guide these cards this week to give us the most accurate reading. All spirits of the light, spirit guides. Help us pull the card and message that we need to hear. So we're going to go like that and pull right from the middle. Whoa. Okay. Oh my gosh. And it, it's full moon in Sagittarius, which that is the card from last week. Maybe that lesson is not over yet. We're going to take it. Not going to. No cheating. Maybe that message isn't done. Let's go with that. All right. So. Alright, so I'm just marking the place in the book. Putting those cards back. 
Last week wasn't so bad, so if it's a repeat of last week, I'll take it. All right, we're going to the Sacred Forest Oracle. It's Denise Lynn. That's what the cards look like. Same thing, we're going to shuffle, throw them all over the floor. And again, ask our guides to help me pick the best card for mine and my viewers. For the best guidance for the week of June 12th. So. Alright, this one's called Rainbow Waterfall. Miracles. That's the key word. We'll take it, right? All right, and that's number 31, in case you guys like doing the numbers. The Moonology card don't have numbers on them. So we are going to stick that in there. And our third guy card thing pool is I'm probably um, butchering her name. Choquette, Sonia Choquette, ask your guides, Oracle. We are going to shuffle. Ask our guides to help me pick. Let me turn my phone off because it never fails. As soon as I start filming, everyone and their brother starts texting me. Sorry, we're already up to 12 minutes, but it is a 20-minute face mask. And it is Monday, and you need to relax. Alright, so. Fanning them all out. Go in there. And it, oh jeez, despair, nature spirits, all right, a little time, it could be negative, I don't know, we're not going to go crazy, you know, be upset, the number of that is 29, so I found the place in the book, and let's get to the meanings, we'll start with moonology, Sorry if I just deafened you with that. This mask is really nice. It's really sticking nice. And it really feels good so far. Alright, so we got the full moon in Sagittarius. Let's look at the bigger, bigger picture. Are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma? Fretting over... Fretting over minute can be counterproductive. Or perhaps you're being all talk and no action. This card is a reminder that while it's good to think things through, sometimes you need to step back and look at the bigger picture. What do you then see about your current situation? What's the most positive thought you can have about it? Now's the time to count your blessings even if you don't yet exactly have what you want. This card is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on the journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could really surprise you. It's time to take out a minute break or adventure take a minute out for a break or adventure this situation may not have come around because you've 
been distracted. Be confident without being overconfident to win the day. Have you shown that you care? If not, now is the time. Find balance between speaking your mind and saying too much. A full moon in Sagittarius is a time when we are reminded that life is an adventure and there's a big wide world to see beyond our backyard. It's about having fun and being prepared to sail into uncharted territory. It's about big ideas versus the details. No matter when you draw this card, it encourages you to look at the bigger picture. Maybe that wasn't, we didn't pull that last week. I don't remember. So look at the bigger picture. All right. Now we'll go to the Sacred Forest card. And we pulled Rainbow Waterfall. It's a beautiful card. Kind of cool for Pride Month, right? A sparkling waterfall cascades into a crystal clear pool surrounded by a glade of ferns. Floating in the air above the pools, a shimmering rainbow creates a wavering reflection in the water. Fairies and elves adorned in all sparkling colors peek through the ferns. Butterflies swoop and dip into the waters, their kaleidoscope of colors iridescent in the sunshine. The rainbow after the storm represents hope and promise for a bright future. Know how, know now that the gifts of the universe are flowing into your life. This is your time. Let go of fear and doubt all is well. You don't have to do it all yourself. Let the Creator step in and solve challenges for you in mysterious and wonderful ways. In some beliefs, rainbows are considered a promise from above that all is well. Remember that your life is a miracle. Just as the rainbow carries all colors in every spectrum of the electromagnetic field, and water is the element of emotions and feelings, so your heart is opening wider and wider. Your capacity to receive love and give love is expanding. Myths also speak of the gold at the end of the rainbow. Hence, the rainbow is important for treasure ahead. Don't limit the, don't limit the way that miracles can appear in your life by having expectations about how they need to occur. Celebrate them when they appear, no matter how small. The spirit of the rainbow waterfall says, Every day miracles are occurring around you. Watch for and embrace them. Let go of fear and doubt as you notice and accept the small wonders in your life. Greater gifts will grow around you in, spectac in spectacular ways. Be open to receive. Well, that's that's a great message. All right. And then despair, right? And that's what the card looks like. Whether you call it a bad mood. I got to open the card wider. Or book wider. A bad day or even a bad life. Feeling of complete desolation and despair has you in its grip. All secrets bleak. This isn't to suggest that your feelings of hopelessness are not without cause. Genuinely difficult situations may be causing some true anxiety, but it's more likely that your fears are exaggerating things way out of proportion. Fortunately, your nature spirits are on hand, luring you out of your inner despair and rerouting your attention back to nature. They urge you to stop dwelling on problems for the time being and go outside. Breathe the air, smell the grass, take a walk. Notice the wind. Come back to earth. Back to the moment. Back to beauty 
and bounty that your divine mother offers. If you're feeling trapped in an emotional maze of fear and drama, your only way back to balance and clarity is to get grounded in the moment and return to the natural world. Let your nature spirits lead you to Mother Earth as she will calm and comfort your soul. The message for you is to get back to nature. So that's not so bad. And it kind of goes in with that rainbow waterfall. Like it, you know, about the miracles. And um, I think all three cards made a lot of sense. Um, and it is. I mean, it's, it's getting to be summer. We're going to have the summer solstice this month. And um, things are coming to life. Plants are growing. And it is a good idea maybe to get back into nature. How about um, for my other girls that are in makeup channels, do one of your makeup looks outside. Set up outside on the porch and do a makeup look. So we are exactly at the 20 minute mark. Well, 21, 28. And the mask is drying. Look how cute this is. So we are going to get this off. I will let you go. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. Hit the notification bell. If the content that I upload is for you. So you're notified of every time I upload. I try to keep a drama-free and all-welcoming channel. Um, I'm starting to try to think of some ideas, different things I can be doing on the channel. So look for new, th new things to come. So I hope you enjoyed this reading for this week of June 12, 2023. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.